Helen from Modern Alchemy. I thought I'd make this video because I get a lot of questions about my hydrogen peroxide, comparing it with other people's hydrogen peroxide. So I have a few different companies here. We have ours and three competitors. I'm going to open them all up and hopefully address some questions that I've gotten. Uh, first off, a lot of people ask me, why is your hydrogen peroxide 17.5%? Well, the short answer is 35% has to be shipped hazmat. Ask, what is hazmat? Hazmat can come on a regular UPS truck, on a regular FedEx truck. The only difference is it has to be packed properly and there has to be proper documentation of that package on that truck. The reason they do that is if you have too much of a hazardous material in transportation, it can cause big problems. Hydrogen peroxide, 35%, regardless of what a lot of these customers of these companies say, is dangerous. It's dangerous to have in your house, it's dangerous to handle. And quite honestly, if you buy 35% hydrogen peroxide online, I can pretty much guarantee you're not getting 35% hydrogen peroxide. There are some retail stores, health food stores that carry it. Most of them are carrying the real thing, but if you buy it online, you're not getting the real thing. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can find that out. All right, you'll notice three out of four of these packages are in bags. Why anyone would ship a liquid in bags is beyond me. Uh, it's, in fact, they all came to the post office. This little one is first class mail. This one is first class mail. This one is priority mail. When you go to the post office to mail something, I'm sure a lot of you know, they ask you, what's in the package? Is it, is it liquid, flammable, or hazardous? I think those are the three things they ask you. If you say, no, it's not liquid, I hear liquid. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I hear liquid. So they're really not supposed to do that. Secondly, 35% hydrogen peroxide cannot be shipped through the post office if it's going via air. First class and priority mail goes on a plane. All right, they don't want 35% going on a plane. In fact, I have the post office, the USPS documents stating that it cannot go on an airplane. It's USPS Publication 52, Hazardous and Restricted and Perishable Mail. Anybody can look this up online. It's there for anyone to see. It tells you exactly what can and cannot be shipped. It also tells you that the strongest hydrogen peroxide you can get first class and priority is 8%. So think about that for a second. You're paying for 35% hydrogen peroxide. You think you're getting 35% hydrogen peroxide. You're getting 8%. All right, so the three different companies that we're looking at here, this one came from Bluebonic Industries. This one came from the One Minute Miracle. And this one came from Pure Health Discounts. It needs to be noted that Pure Health Discounts has a lot of different names that they do business under. I see there. Pure Health Discounts, Trinity Neutral Lab, Guardian of Eden, Celeste Pure H2O2. Let's see, did I miss any? Oh, from Eden's Garden. They've got a lot of different names, but it's all the same product. Let's start with theirs. Priority mail. Let's see what's inside. So the only thing we have in here is this plastic bag and the contents are wet. I don't know if you can see in here that the paper inside is wet. All right, there's some, let's see what's here. Some advertisements about a sale of theirs. This is 
This is no information about the product. It's just about a sale, trying to sell us some other stuff. Let's see, this too. No information about the product. It's just some more ads. Okay. Oh, look, and they even note this Guardian of Eden there. Pure Health discounts there. So. All right. Here's that. Now let's open it. I should be a little careful because we can see that it's pretty leaky. is leaky and there is also a dropper bottle. Yeah. I can smell hydrogen peroxide so this is definitely hydrogen peroxide and it's all wet. Well, let's see. So we have storage and usage information. Okay. So this is basically telling us, I'm going to read it, the contents of food grade hydrogen peroxide and water. There are no toxins, poisons, or contaminants. It is always in a water mix. Well, what does that mean? It is always in a water mix. The only molecular compound of the contents are hydrogen and oxygen. The concentration level poses no flammable, flammable excuse me, or explosion risk. So this is basically saying it's diluted. It's a hydrogen peroxide and water. It doesn't say the concentration on it anywhere. It does give a link to their usage information at the bottom. So I'll put this up here one more time so you can see it. All right. For that. Now let's see what's on here. This is interesting. If you look at the bottle, it says certified food grade hydrogen peroxide, eight ounces. It doesn't state the concentration. It says to store in the refrigerator. And at the very bottom, it says contents, 35 H2O2 comma H2O. Well, I'm sorry, but that's a dead giveaway. If it was 35% hydrogen peroxide, that's what it would say. 35% sign hydrogen peroxide. This means it's 35% hydrogen peroxide mixed with water. We have no idea what the concentration is. All right, and oh, there's even a little one ounce bottle filled that says certified 35 food grade hydrogen peroxide. Doesn't say percent. So 35 what? Certified by who? There is no governing body that certifies hydrogen peroxide. All right, so let's put that one off to the side. You know, as a consumer, seeing this on the, on the top of that, the tape, is very concerning to me. I wouldn't know if that was opened or if that has been tampered with and just retaped shut. As a company, that is completely unacceptable. I would rather it be heat sealed than to have tape put on it. So that's another thing to be concerned about is the fact that there is tape on the top of that lid instead of a heat seal or some kind of sealant to break it. So just keep in mind about those things too, because I don't know if that's been opened by another customer and them just reselling it to me, or like I said, or if it was tampered with. So I agree. Keep it doesn't it look very that. professional either. No. It's just a piece of packing tape. Yeah. I don't know how clearly you can see that, but it is. And it's still, it's still leaked even with that tape on it. Well, that just proves that they're not using the proper bottles and caps. Mm -hmm. And the caps, yep. I mean, yeah, the caps to be used for this kind of chemical are expensive, but mm -hmm. you know, it stops it from leaking. So you know what? Sometimes you need to spend extra money. Right. And to... as the consumers buying it, they should have a good quality. Absolutely. I agree. 
Shall we move on to the next? Absolutely. In fact, I think you should introduce yourself because people are hearing a voice and they don't know who you are. My name's Diane. Hi, Diane. Hello. Just to let everyone know, Diane and I have a combined 20 years experience in this industry. Yes. So we know a lot about it. Absolutely. All right. This second one is from Bluebonic Industries. It came in the mail. It came in a bag. However, they did take the, the next step and put it in a little box so it doesn't nice get crushed. Touch. Yeah. Okay. And it is also sealed in a plastic bag. All right. And it comes. There's no ads in here, but it does come with H2O care and handling. H2O2, I'm sorry. Care and handling. And this one says 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide. It has the warnings and it tells you how to dilute it. Okay, great. So there's is a little responsibility here on their part, providing instructions. Mm -hmm. However, if we look, okay. I'm not gonna open this one because there is no seal on the outside of this bottle. There could be a seal underneath. I, I have no way of knowing that, but I want to keep this intact because at the end of this video, all four of these products are going to go to an independent lab so we can find out exactly what the percentage, what the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide is. And I don't want it to be, you know, to look like that I've opened it or tampered with so we're gonna leave this one closed. But this one also says 35%. The percent is spelled out, it's not a percent sign. That's a red flag to look at. It does have the corrosive and oxidizer label on it, which honestly I'm kind of surprised because it came through the mail, which is completely illegal if it is 35%, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. We'll find that out once it comes back from the lab. But again, that's what that one looks like. All right, put that one, put it back in the box. The packaging is a little bit better the on that one. The packaging is a little bit better on this one. <laughs> that one did it's not leak. It's a little more professional and it didn't leak. Maybe pure okay. PHP should learn from that one. Yeah, a little bit. All right, now this one. This one came from the One Minute Miracle. We got bubble wrap in this one. Oh, don't forget that first one we opened had no packing material in it whatsoever. There nope. was no no bubble wrap, no shipping peanuts, nothing. It was just a bottle in plastic shoved in a, a USPS bag that they provide for free, actually. So they're really cutting corners on their packaging. All right. So this one, let's see. This is like a little sealed... Baggy. Alright, so we can see how to open this. There we go. Okay. Inside of the bubble wrap, we have another bag which I just cut into because I couldn't see it. Now what is this? Oh, this is a business card. Hey, people still use those. Check that out. <laughs> business card. I like that. That's neat. And it, on this card, it gives you instructions on how to make 3%, how to make 8%, how to make 12%. Why anybody would want 12% or 8%, I have no idea. There's, there's really not many uses for that. You always want to get it down to 3%. As a matter of fact, there are no uses for 35% hydrogen peroxide straight out. Unless you're putting it in a swimming pool or a hot tub, you can't use it full strength. There's, you just can't. All right, now this one, unfortunately, because I couldn't see what I was cutting into, this one does not have a seal as well. Doesn't have tape, doesn't have anything. Uh, ooh, now this one, this one's interesting. That one says 35% plus H2O. Wait a minute, that says 35% plus H2O2. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Nope. So is that the name brand? Is that the One Minute Miracle 35% plus? I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm, I'm at a loss with that one. Uh, it says H2O2 food grade certified is a non-toxic antibacterial disinfectant. Okay, that, that is true. Uh, it also has an oxidizer and a corrosive label and a storage label. Store at room temperature, interesting. And in a dark location, do not store in freezer. Well, that's a good thing to bring up. 35% hydrogen peroxide will not freeze in your normal household freezer. Most household freezers are set to zero degrees Fahrenheit. That keeps your food, your ice, your ice cream, everything frozen. 35% hydrogen peroxide will not freeze at zero degrees Fahrenheit. It freezes at negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit and your household freezer just can't get that cold. I didn't make that up. No, that, <laughs> that information is, is online. It is, it's on from any reputable company that manufactures and sells hydrogen peroxide. There's a thing called a safety data sheet that is supposed to accompany any package of 35% hydrogen peroxide. It's supposed to come with this. This sheet was made by the Department of Transportation and every chemical, I, I don't even think it's just this country. I'm, I think it's pretty much all over the world. They're universal numbers. So a, a specific product, a specific chemical has a specific number. And the number for 35% hydrogen peroxide is UN2014. Okay, that's the only number that 35% gets. The number for anything lower than that, I can't find the paper that has that one on it. Let me see. I guess this is, a, this is an MSDS from an actual 35%. So yeah, it is UN, let me see if you can see that, 2014. All right, that's how you know you're getting 35%. It also states on this sheet, the freezing point. That's why I brought this sheet out in the first place, I digress. <laughs> there it is. There's the freezing point. Okay, this is not made up. This is coming from a chemical company that manufactures this product and any chemical company that manufactures this product does it in the same way and has the same information. UN2984, that's what I'm looking for. That's it. 2984 is anything that is 8% up to 20% hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so since all of these products that we've opened up, we cannot ascertain what percentage they are. None of them state it. They have very tricky language. But considering that they came through the mail, a good guess is UN2984. Which, let's see, I don't know if you could see that. Bring it down a little bit. There you okay. go. All right, and this paper is from UPS. Uh, FedEx has the same paper with the same information on how they can ship this product. They won't ship actual 35% unless it's packaged as hazmat and sent as hazmat. And each package will have a separate hazmat fee on top of the shipping charges. So say your shipping charges is, are $10. You're gonna get an extra fee, it's usually around $30. So if you're buying a little bottle like this, I think each one of these bottles was around $20. And then you pay, well, and, and another thing too, these all gave free shipping. That should be your dead giveaway. Yeah, shipping's expensive. Shipping is expensive, and a lot of companies will eat their shipping for $10, depending on what that, you know, what their markup is. But a $30 hazmat fee, there's no getting around that. Regardless, you could get something that's half this size, and you would still have to pay that $30 fee. So I don't know any company that's gonna to wanna to eat that fee. Mm -hmm. So free shipping is another red flag. Yeah. All right, if they're shipping it free, you're not getting 35%. It's not happening. Right. And uh, they sent a little present too. But this one's empty. Pretty little bottle. But I'll tell you something about the pretty little bottles. 
<laughs> what they don't tell you is these bottles are practically useless for hydrogen peroxide. Why is that? It's because of the rubber. Hydrogen peroxide reacts with the rubber. So what happens is you'll fill this bottle up and you think, okay, it's handy dandy. I'm going to have it, you know, my medicine cabinet, whatever it's to, to use my drops. In a short period of time, this is going to start to corrode. It's going to start to melt and get gunky and gross. And it can even pop and, and rip leak. open and leak. And it's just, it's not practical for hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. They've even been known to swell up and, and pop. Yeah, basically so. pop. They, they get, you wouldn't believe how big <laughs> this little dropper, this yeah. rubber dropper piece could get. Yep. So they're not doing you any favors sending you this pretty bottle. Yeah. Use it for something else. Don't put hydrogen peroxide in it. Okay. So let's put his back in there. Okay. All right. And lastly, this is ours. This is Modern Alchemy's actual packaging that you will receive. It doesn't come in an envelope. It doesn't come UPS. I'm sorry, it doesn't come USPS. It does come UPS. We ship our product UPS. We ship 17.5%, which I could pretty much guarantee you is going to be stronger than those when we get the results back from the lab. All right, so it's in a box. It's letting you know what direction the bottle is in. It's telling you to open it immediately. Why open it immediately? Hydrogen peroxide tends to um, build pressure in the bottle and possibly leak. Knock wood, I have not had a leakage, not a reported leakage in over a year, which I think is a pretty damn good track record. Mm -hmm. uh, that just shows you that we're using the correct lids and yep. bottles. All right, so. And you'll also notice the storage information is refrigerate or put in a cold, dark place. None of those other packages had any of that information on there, not even open immediately. No. So there's been, I'm sure, quite a few people that have left it out and it's popped inside the box and then got all over the box and deteriorated whatever it was sitting on top of. Yeah, probably damaged some of their personal Yeah, because that thing can eat through plywood and everything. And it just it shows up like sawdust. Yeah, even if it's not a full 35, even if yeah. you're getting you know, inferior hydrogen peroxide, whether it's 8%, 12%, yeah. whatever. It, it could still do that. I've left a little bit in my car and it ate my carpet in the car. Yeah. So, so just be careful and weary of that. Yeah. All right. So when you open ours, the first thing you see is warning. All right. It, this tells you how to handle it responsibly, how to store it. Secondly, we give complete instructions on how to use it. Okay. Two pages of usage instructions, and there's more on our website. So that goes in every box. Okay, um, ours was not sealed, but it is a handy dandy little zip. And you will notice we do have a tamper evident seal on every bottle. If this bottle's been opened, you'll know about it. The seal mm -hmm. will be broken. Yeah, and I like that. That's just the security of knowing that it wasn't tampered with. It also says clear as day, 17.5%, right mm -hmm. on the label. Right. That's it, nothing else. Not comma, H2O, not plus H2O, not just 17 and a half high percent hydrogen peroxide. That is what is in this bottle. We guarantee mm -hmm. it. It also has some useful information on the back, how to store it. Uh, let's see, what else? Refrigerate or store in a cool, dark place. If this was 35%, it should say store in the freezer. Okay, mm -hmm. this is 17 and a half. We're telling everyone it's 17 and a half. We're not lying to you. We are shipping exactly what we say we are shipping. All right. Another thing that I see on this bottle that is not on anybody else's bottle is a best buy date and a lot number. Lot Why numbers is that are important? important. Yeah, very important. They're very Why important. Why is that important? If a customer 
calls us and says there's a problem with one of their bottles, mm -hmm. we can track that lot and, and see if there's a, an issue or know exactly where that issue came from. We keep track of our stuff and we know what we're sending you and we wanna make sure it's perfect. It also has a best buy date, which none of these others do. Hydrogen peroxide doesn't spoil, doesn't go bad. The reason why it has the best buy date is the bottle, okay? We don't ship it in glass. Glass is dangerous, uh, especially when you put a, a substance like hydrogen peroxide in it. Mm -hmm. The pressure builds up. And if you don't open it, or if it's tossed around too much, that glass could break. All right, we don't want that to happen. So we chose a PET bottle, which is the best suitable bottle, the best plastic to use for hydrogen peroxide. It has the least amount of leaching, because a lot of people are worried about that. The HDPE and the LDPE are not as good. All right, and I see two of the other three here are either using LDPE or HDPE. All right, so within two years, you wanna use this, only to keep the integrity of the hydrogen peroxide at its best. And anything you buy, anything you have in your medicine cabinet is gonna have that best buy date. And that's usually the reason. If it's a, if it's a product that doesn't spoil or doesn't change over time, if the, if the chemical composition doesn't change over time, then it's because of the the plastic that it's in. So mm -hmm. we just want to make sure you know. Because you can buy things and then not realize how long you have it in your medicine cabinet. How many things do you have in there that are a couple of years old and you think, oh, I just bought that last year. No, you bought it about six years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if it has a date on it, you'll know right away. And one of these companies, I know for a fact, actually tells their customers, when you get it, write the date on the bottle. Why are you leaving that up to the customer? Put a date on the bottle. Let them know what the best time frame to use that product. Yeah, and the thing is, you're not going to know to do that unless you contact that company. Yeah, and honestly, contacting that company is not going to be a pleasant experience. No. All right, we have firsthand knowledge dealing with some of these people, and they have zero customer service. Call them for yourself, and you'll find out. Yep. I'm just going to leave that one there. So, <laughs> just to recap, we have four different products. Three out of the four are claiming to be 35%. Where's the other one in the cute little coffin-like box? There it is. Thank you. All right. And the bottom line is we really don't know what's in any of these. Can you see these? Are these, mm -hmm. are these good? Yeah. Okay. So, to wrap it up for today, I hope I didn't bore you. <laughs> just want to <laughs> let you, I just, an informed customer is the best kind of customer. You need to know what you're buying, especially there's a lot of people that use these products for internal reasons. And you want to make sure you know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. All right? We're going to find out exactly what's in these bottles. They're going out as is to an independent lab. We're going to have them tested, and then we're going to post a new video for you so you can see the results. Just one thing I wanna leave you with is Amazon, okay? It's been, I think, a year and a half since Amazon stopped selling 35%. You cannot purchase 35% on Amazon. They just, they don't allow it. It's, it's a restricted product on their restricted product list. You can only get 12%. So uh, all of these products, all of these companies are selling 12% on Amazon. To be honest, I didn't want to do it. I did not want to reduce my product to 12%. I wanted to keep it only at 17 and a half. But I'll be honest with you, Amazon is such a big part of everybody's life. I wanted to get the exposure and I wanted people to see Modern Alchemy out there. So you can get it on Amazon as 12%, all mm -hmm. right? And that's, that too cannot be shipped through the mail. Only 8% or lower can go through the mail. So if you buy it from us on Amazon, it's going to come UPS and it's going to be packaged the same way in a box and shipped the right way. Um, maybe further on down the road, uh, we'll be taking it off of Amazon just to maintain that integrity of keeping it at 17.5%.
but we just want to let everybody know that we're out there and we're the real deal. All right. So at the bottom of this video, uh, you'll be able to post comments and ask questions and, and we'll answer them all. We'll answer everything you have to say. Let us know if you had any problems with any of these companies. You yeah, know, that's you've gotten the same kind of stuff and the same treatment and and stuff. If you have any other questions, please leave the comments down below and we'll try and answer them. And if you would like to try Modern Alchemy, please look us up. That's it. It's modernalchemyllc.com, or you could just look up Modern Alchemy Hydrogen Peroxide. You'll find us. Thank you for watching. Bye.